Have yours the life of Muthu. Tamil lo super blockbuster hai ni so Telugu lo kora release hai chala positive views hoste nae. Mandu matla dhan ki director Gautam Vasudev Minan garu naru and the beautiful Siddhi dhani ondi so let's talk with them. Hello sir. Hi. Congratulations. Tamil first akira Telugu lo kora chala positive reviews hoste nae. You are getting lot of appreciation uh, national wide. Abhishek Bachchan garu everyone was treated so let's share your experience and the happiness. I'm very happy. Um, also the idea was to make sure a lot more people see the film today with the whole you know pan indian mm. sort of approach to every film uh, one thing i decided i wanted this to go out as a tamil film okay. uh, everywhere else okay and telugu should have like a version so that's what we've done mm. because i have made films here and yes, the audience yes. here knows my work from earlier and i thought this would be an important film for them to also uh, you know experience but with everywhere else we put it out as a tamil film uh, which is why the idea of the trailer with the uh, you know uh, people doing voice overs in yes, in yes. certain languages yes. like in hindi in malayalam in kannada but the rest of the trailer was in tamil so i thought it was a it was a new initiative actually and uh, it went really well i'm happy right now if you ask me how i'm feeling i'm very happy so initially you plan to release this movie in all the languages no 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 i didn't want to because the story is sort of deep rooted inside from tamil nadu from okay. a small village how this boy travels and reaches mumbai right okay. so we okay. wanted to make it as a tamil film mm. but reach it to a larger audience okay. with sort of you know market the film across india and across the world with subtitles as a tamil film okay. yeah you said uh, in a recent interview nothing is impossible so how does this mm -hmm. impossible thing makes happen for you i think so can answer that better <laughs> no you should answer <laughs> you should answer first i don't know you. you know very honestly uh, it's just the zeal that is there within you to keep going on in life and ups and downs are inevitable that's mm. bound to happen and what you do with those ups and downs is what uh, you know decides your future ahead and i decided that i'm not going to settle with my failures i said um, that i have that in me to kind of you know come back and i think that was it uh, just there was a change of mindset there was a change of approach and i think that change uh, led me to serve and um, then yeah the rest is all in front of you okay sir when jay mohan sir told about you the script so what made you to accept uh, this film 15 minutes of a short story yeah, is what yeah, he, he narrated hmm. there was something about that 15 minutes and then he had left it open to the readers imagination right so and i went to him saying i want to make a low lying sort of gangster film like people at the bottom most ranks you know they they're not gang leaders or gang lords or big time gangsters as yet mm. i want to make something on these lines and he said this story that i told you we can easily get that into this area he said okay uh, there was something very exciting about uh, you know seeing these characters unfold for me you know per se i wanted to uh, film these characters straight away and he said he knows a few people who've lived this life okay um so i said i said sir if you can just write it for me then i will bring it make it my own visualize it and i will make it into a film and that's how we are here today so is it based on real incidents it's based on real incidents based on one real person also okay we didn't meet that person but jaymon's the writer knows he knows about that yeah. person where yes. and when it exactly it was happened yes. you know when and where it was exactly no i didn't i didn't ask beyond the fact that i was listening to something that i wanted to film immediately but he okay. said this is based on true events mm. there is a place like this and there are people who've lived this life and there is one person who might not he wouldn't want to reveal himself i'm also not saying this because see, we've never mentioned that it's a true life story mm. at all till today mm. we've, we've not talked about it because i didn't want uh, that idea to be put out that we, that's like we're marketing the film you know but only jaymon sir knew who this person is and uh, this character arc is based on that person's life yeah. okay then why jaymon sir wanted a new face for this because uh, ta comes with uh, his or her, her a own lot of expectations right? yeah, yeah yeah so you you watch a film where, where, with a star's sort of repertoire of work yes, yes, yes. and you know that he's capable uh, there there's a screen image that a star has right an actor can a star can easily bash up a few people why should he be bothered about the small things that happen in a gangster sort of a setup you know but a boy who travels from a village who doesn't have that image about him mm. might get affected when he sees somebody washing blood off their hands mm -hmm. might get affected True. if he sees a knife being taken out yes. and somebody sitting in an auto with a knife next to him he might wonder i might be scared if i look at a knife 
with somebody you know looking like that carrying a knife next mm. to me so mm. we wanted somebody who won't have those trappings of a star okay uh, so he said let's get a newcomer to do this role but i said i will make simbu the newcomer okay. i'm very confident that he will pull it off you know so so once simbu gets into the skin of the character and portrays that character when you watch the film from frame 1 you'll forget it's simbu and you'll okay. only be with muttu and that's what he's done i think so beautifully okay tell something about your character and that uh, your real life and real life character was is there any similarities how it is connected for you hmm. interesting so uh, pavani hmm. uh, in the life of muttu she is basically a tamil girl hmm. she's born and brought up in bombay and okay. uh, all her life she's been there so what happens when you stay in a city like bombay which is so fast paced you automatically cultivate a very hard exterior also because of certain circumstances in her life and all of that but what i have come to learn about this character is that she might portray to be this really like hard exterior but from inside she has that innocence that that um, little bit of timidness in her and um, i like the way pavani surrenders to muttu hmm. i think that to me was a very special uh, you know aspect of this film talking about how similar it is uh, to my real life well i don't think it is very similar okay but uh, what i can take back from this character definitely is the fact that she is very uh, calm and composed mm. uh, there is this elegance in her and that elegance is very internal because of the way so writes his characters it doesn't matter whether they are poor rich middle class there is an internal elegance with which she conducts herself you know with the way she carries herself and i think that is something that i take back uh, from pav how many times that you auditioned for this character how many times <laughs> i think it was just one morning dialogue audition ha huh. no. no no it was like she oh. came in the morning acha okay and uh, we got her in dress in there the is no audition no there was no major audition okay, we just okay. because we were doing a scene that day hmm. i asked one of my uh, chief ads to sit with her and just okay. explain the dialogues okay and it was a dialogue heavy she actually had all the lines in that scene hmm. simbu just had to say uh, she told what, without why, prompting all the dialogues yeah 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 so she she's very good with the lines so she okay. took the lines that time we gave her hmm. and we i think we straight away did that scene yeah, yeah. it was after that that we did all the rehearsals for the later scenes yeah. actually for me this seemed like an audition because i didn't know what's happening until okay after doing the scene with him okay. you don't know about the story and line anything no i think i that was not important to me at all okay, the okay. fact that i'm getting an opportunity to work with him uh, uh with him so with mr rafia <coughs> rahman is more than enough for me to just Yes. Oh, I hope you're happy about it. Don't you extremely okay. happy. <laughs> Don't you feel nervous uh, because you working with uh, Gautam Garu and Simbu Garu the first day first shot did you remember? No, Actually, she wasn't nervous. I was really You were not nervous? No, the thing with me in general in life is that I work best under pressure. I oh, I super. prefer not taking dialogues beforehand. I prefer okay. taking it on the set because that surrounding that situation, no? Because your focus is completely on that particular mm. moment. so there's nothing to distract you okay. and the same thing happened and actually very honestly when i got to know that i'm doing this kind of a you know maybe an audition for me in the morning i was like dude i have to do 200% justice to it because opportunities like this don't come knocking yes, at yes, your door yes, right yes 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 true we so have to like, go i have to kill it and i just went with that intention okay so yeah i think that was it, it, it is the, i think uh, perhaps the most special day for me because I've come in the morning and the night evening I'm doing the scene with hmm. Simbu sir and then after that I went to Gautam sir Gautam sir and I said sir was it okay am I selected and he's like I just did a scene with Simbu and you I mean what do you mean <laughs> and uh, they told you one day shoot and after the shoot got cancelled you you yeah. felt very yeah. nervous because they are going to play someone I got actually Simbu sir's health was uh, not okay the next yeah, day or yeah. something so I was like oh my god maybe <coughs> then you called to Gautam sir I called sir I called uh, Everything's okay, right? Like it's not my issue. She's mm-hmm. like, no, no, don't worry, it's all good. You come back, we'll continue shooting. Okay, sir, you change the definition of STR meaning. That's like, because name under there, like you, me, single take Raja, ani change it, sir. So, idhi me, me, previous time to work chase na pre fix hai paara. Like he's like single take Raja ani. Yeah, he is that for sure. Like from Vinita and I made a change in both of them. And in this film. Uh, I I know what he's capable of for sure. Okay. Like I can I can push the envelope any time with him. Hmm. Uh and I know he will 
completely melt into you know what I want him to do, uh, and he'll give it to me with no effort, with minimal effort. I mean, okay. there's no rehearsal, reading time. Without rehearsal, Adanta chee kuna ne chee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually very raw in that first take, okay. and you should just grab that. You know, so too much of rehearsal is not right. I feel, hmm. and even lines and all, you know, it doesn't take too much of time. Mm -hmm. And there's a way that we get the lines done with him. We know that for each other. He'll read the whole scene. He'll look at me. I'll say yeah, and then we just take the shot, and then okay. honestly, it's all single takes. It's like yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, mm. unless there's some issue with the camera work or some light or something, we do another take. Or if it's an action sequence for perfection, you know, uh, for it to be in that perfect zone, we might try a couple of more takes. But otherwise, with performance and delivery and uh, you know the way he sort of uh, plays that particular moment, it's all in single takes. I mean, How does it possible like 5 minutes action sequence and 2-3 minutes either combination of scenes could a single take lo yeah, no, possible? That was rehearsed over 4-5 days because uh, okay. Simbu didn't rehearse it. We rehearsed it for 4-5 days, the action sequence because a lot of things had to fall. So with the fighters and with the camera, we rehearsed it over 5 days because it starts from downstairs, it goes into then it goes up the stairs, it goes outside the building and comes inside the camera, you mm -hmm. know. So, uh, we rehearsed it one day before Simbu came and saw the choreography. Okay. And he rehearsed it once and he said, good. On the day of the shoot, he rehearsed one more time because it's a lot of other actors, other fighters and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took five takes for that single short take, not because of anybody, but because everything had to fall in place. I think the fifth take is what is there in the film and it's a magical take. Three character variations, sir. And the 20 years age gap, ko dantrata in kuncha mature age. Idanta miru yella handle chaygal gero makeup kani adanta. No, I, I know he's he'll give me that right. So mm. we discussed that in the beginning itself. I told him you start off as a 19 year old, 20 year old leaving yes, the village. Yes. So we want you in that look. You know, he chops wood for a living uh, in the forest and takes it and makes some money and brings it back to his mother. So that body language, you know, tired, sweaty in that zone and then somewhere he works in this parota restaurant mm. in Bombay mm. and there's a lot of grime and you know cleaning the tables and uh, you know living in one space one small space with 30 40 men they all sleep in spaces marked by chalk yes. and that's all they have you know so okay. everybody sleeps next to each other kind of a thing so all that you know he went through all that the body language kept changing accordingly to that you know there was an overall body language that he maintained and look wise also I told him once you get into the next area of the film, I thought a beard might help, a slightly, you know, like a stubble sort of thing. And then towards the end, we thought we'll go with a completely different look. So me okay. favourite look. Okay, I think I can't really choose, very honest. Okay. Because every every uh, from the age, you know, the three transitions that we've done, there's like something different that he brings to the table. Okay. So it's very difficult to choose uh, a particular thing, but I think uh, Muthu that comes back in the second half is, okay. is, is very So you, she has scenes with the Muthu of all the Muthu three and the first, uh, the no, boy. she has okay. scenes with all the three, all the three yeah, like groups. The, so. the boy from the village who works Achha, in the Parata okay. restaurant who meets her at the... Then she like every... Yeah, <laughs> who meets her at the clothes store, yes. she has moments with him. Okay. And then for six months almost she's not seen him. So there is a scene okay. in the film where he comes and stands in front of her and she looks at him. It's one of my favorite moments in the film. I mm. like the way she's acted in that, where she just looks at him. And some way you can see that she's a little taken aback by how he looks a little different. He looks a little more grown up now. And the fact that he's here again after so many, so many months or days, you know. And it's a very subtle expression that she came up with, which I really liked. And you can see there's one interest which sets up the mood for the next scene. When he meets her in the middle of the night, she sort of, even though she pushes him away, at the end of the scene, they decide to sort of come together in that space. So, this so, scene is very important. Set lo Gautam gar ella unter. Ante me me put choose na chala calm ga unteru. Eppadai na serious aur dom. Firing. Eda ina firing or shouting. Eppuri lani unter a set lo. You know, very honestly, this uh, uh, I'm not saying this. It's actually very awkward to say and praise him in front of him. Don't. But okay, <laughs> we want to know. I think he was. Uh, so calm and composed like he's called classy for a reason you know I feel like that is just him 
whether it's on you know giving interviews or whether it's on uh, uh, film media set, it is so calm and composed now in front of us now i don't know uh, with the uh, direction team or something maybe it might be different i'm not sure <laughs> i'll ask them but you know you never asked the direction team because how i'll ask them after this yes. <laughs> But to me, I was like, wow, like, you know, and so much of freedom and so, so much of spontaneity mm -hmm. because to a new girl mm -hmm. uh, who's just starting out her, you know, career, yes. it felt like all the freedom in the world. Okay. And the expression also that he's speaking about mm -hmm. uh, when I see Muntu after a couple of months, is it just, he's like, okay, this, 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 this is the situation and he would tell you how you do it. That he leaves up to the actor and that's the freedom that he gives his actors and I think that's the reason why uh, we have also ended up performing so well because it is our own inputs that we are trying to put in and that's the kind of freedom that we've got. In terms of spontaneity also it's like you know magic happens on the set, on, on his set especially and especially with the song which we did on the bad of it. We did it and it was the whole one take thing, handheld shot. Yes, yes. And when we were seeing it, I was like, now I know how Mr. Gautam Vasudevan creates magic because it's so uh, organic. It's not planned. Magic can never be planned. It can't be like, this is here, this is here, do a wink here, smile here. He was just like, go and flow. And I think that's one of my most uh, favorite scenes in the entire film. And it's so special. and. It makes you feel like, okay, you know, you can, you can sense the chemistry. <laughs> okay. Sir, coming to A.R. Rehman sir, music. In the combination of the previous films, there are musical blockbusters. In this movie, there are songs that are very good. And BGM RR is very good. So, A.R. Rehman sir, what was the main reason? I think I always take my films to him. Hmm. If sir is busy and he feels within the timeline he can't do it, he'll let me know. From Vinay Tandi, it started yes. you both are, yeah. No, even before that. I've okay. taken most okay. of my films to him hmm. to ask him if he can do the music. But okay. for some for some reason or the other, they've not been able to work together. So you and always Minnelli wanted... Uh, Minnelli also, I asked him only first. Achha, okay. Yeah. And then of course, I had a, a great working equation with Harris and we made a lot of great music together, beautiful hmm. songs and all that. And then uh, I always wanted to work with Rahman. So, so Vinay Tandi, when I went and met him and I directed the idea to him, he said, we'll do this. Okay. So, uh, likewise, when I first wrote this and, and we had an opportunity to read a script like this from Jay Moon, sir, we were already working on a story with Rahman, sir, only. It was already confirmed a love story, a very interesting kind of a love, love story. But when I read this and when I thought this is what I should make, I took it to him. But we had already composed and recorded three songs for the other story. So, I told him, sir, I don't want to waste your time. We've already composed and recorded. So, I'll use the same tunes in this film. We just write the lyrics differently and we just have to re-record it again. He said, no, don't worry about that. That's not a problem. We'll let that be there for that script. We'll record fresh. We'll compose fresh for this. And we sat on the song situations for this. So that was beautiful, you know, for him to say that and say, telling me not to worry about what we've already done and all that. So, uh, and like you said, he's, um, he's elevated the film. Yes, yes. There's, there's a line that he's maintained, keeping the essence of the story and the screenplay and the, and the scenes. And just one notch above, you know, he's picked it up in that space. So the background score is outstanding. Okay, so is there any uh, memorable incident for you in the whole set like uh, Gautam Sar and Silambarasan? You worked with Silambarasan. Yeah. Yeah. Can you share anything uh, craziest or funniest? <laughs> Actually, on a daily basis, there was so much to learn. Uh, because uh, when you're put in a situation where there are such established individuals around you, this, every, every second of the set, you're just like constantly being this girl who's trying to like, uh, absorb as much as uh, I could. <clears throat> Having said that, uh, the first day definitely is going to be the most uh, most memorable day because uh, coming in the morning and in the evening performing with uh, Simbu sir and this, this entire scene also went so well. And uh, I think uh, there was this one very funny incident where we were on the uh, in in Bombay we were shooting mm. and there was a bike scooter scene, okay, yeah, bike, okay. where I was sitting behind Simbu sir and I get really of bikes, so okay. I was like, very conscious and I was wearing a sari. Okay. So I had to sit. Sideways. You need to sit properly yeah, then. I sit sideways. And like I said, hmm. pa Pavani hmm. is very elegant. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So she sat and Simbu sort didn't realize that I have not sat completely. So he just okay. started the bike. Okay. And I remember I jumped off the bike and it was kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> 
because uh, he's like ninga action director madri is telling me ki you want you only do the action scenes in the next part super ha huh? so yeah but other than that also with simbu sir i think uh, uh, sharing screen space with someone who is such a fabulous actor no mm-hmm. it's very challenging for me uh, or anybody who ever if, if not me because he is recognized as a spectacular actor everybody is aware of that so i had to do my 10000% because the eyeballs are obviously going to be on simbu sir yes, now what can i do yeah, yeah. just so that they can probably look at me and then look at him and then look at me look at him so it was very very um, challenging but i hope i've done justice to it sir uh, <laughs> why you always choose uh, like expensive stylish cotton dresses for all your heroines do i I mean, she's wearing something. But I think <laughs> the previous costume was, I guess, a co- little bit of cotton. You. Did I you? have yeah, yeah. nothing to do with how she <laughs> wears her clothes. No, I am not asking about promotion. I am asking about films. So like in this film, films. she plays a, a a girl who works in a clothes store, hmm. a very modest uh, living sort of thing, yeah. house and everything. Uh, father and a stepmother, we've suggested. So. I think the clothes are accordingly, and within that, like she said, there is an elegance about her. There is a little bit of, not a little bit, a lot of classiness about her within that environment where she lives. She wants, she's a dreamer. She wants to move out. She wants to break free. But there is a father who is holding her back, and uh, that's why she's always on the parapet, looking out, dreaming. Right. Mm-hmm. So somewhere that was suggested, and I think we kind of dressed her accordingly. Yeah. I thought, you know, there was no yeah. everything. I think you see costume design. shouldn't stand out okay. it should blend and merge with the film that's what is styling and costume design i think in this film it's right up there um, you know i have to mention this because nothing stands out because it blends and merges with the rest of the frame there was a lot of work that we did the color palettes were like rajivan nutra myself mm-hmm. and siddhartha we sat down you and figured out you also into costume yeah i mean it it comes to me there's a lot of discussion that goes okay. into what the colors will be in the film what palette we'll be working with we won't do this we won't do that they won't wear black you know st- stuff like that be discussed and it is it's always shown to me it's approved and then if you see simbu shirts an interesting combination of patterns on a shirt actually and if you go and look at people who work in these places they mm-hmm. wear shirts like that okay uh, you know and what she wore also i thought was very apt with uh, you know what the mode of the scene was in the characters wear so i think we really cracked it with yeah. that and there was yeah. a lot of mismatching happening it's not like It, it's coordinated yeah. it's like okay. whatever is available but within what is available how can you make it good also i'd like to add the fact that there's a lot of unlearning that happens because as actors and especially actresses you come with a preconceived notion that oh my god my lipstick has to be this color yes, my yes. you know mascara my eyeliner but with so what happens is there's a lot of unlearning that happens and it like rips you off what you believe is uh, ideal beauty Okay. Uh to me very honestly I don't think I've ever looked this beautiful. Mm. I feel like uh, in this particular film I I've, I've looked the most beautiful and that's because I'm looking uh, my most natural self. And I think that's what even with uh, Muthu's character you okay. won't see Simbu mm-hmm. the star you will see Muthu. Okay. Yeah. సో సో సీక్వెల్ కూడా రెడీగా ఉందా మీకు నెక్స్ట్ పార్ట్ స్టోరీ అంత రెడీగా ఉందా యా ద ప్లాట్ పాయింట్స్ ఆర్ రెడీ వి ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ ఇట్ సో అది కూడా బేస్డ్ ఆన్ రియల్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ రియల్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ సేమ్ యా సో ఇట్స్ ది ఐడియా ఆఫ్ మేకింగ్ అ సీక్వెల్ అండ్ టేకింగ్ హిస్ జర్నీ ఫార్వర్డ్ ఇస్ నాట్ టు మేక్ అన్ అవుట్లాండిష్లీ వైల్డ్ స్టైలిష్ యు నో బిగ్ ఫిల్మ్ ఇట్స్ గోన్ బి అన్ ఇమోషనల్ డ్రామా ఐ యామ్ ఎయిమింగ్ టు మేక్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ కెన్ అచీవ్ దట్ ఐ విల్ బి వెరీ హ్యాపీ అండ్ ప్రౌడ్ I'm aiming to make a Nayagan. I'm aiming okay. to make what Godfather was. Okay. Uh, you know, so it's an emotional drama. It's not going to be an unnecessarily commercial film. That's what we're trying to make with the sequel. So, last question: If not Simbu, do you choose any other hero for this character? If not Simbu, for this film? Hmm. No. No, only for Simbu. Right now, I can't say, and I can't see it also happening. ఓకే సో ఆల్ ద వెరీ బెస్ట్ సార్ హోప్ఫుల్లీ పార్ట్ టూ కోసం వెయిట్ చేస్తున్నాము సో అండ్ ఆల్ ద వెరీ బెస్ట్ ఇది ఈరోజు ద లైఫ్ ఆఫ్ ముత్తు టీమ్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ దిస్ ఈజ్ రమ్య సై